In this tutorial, I'm going to find number one, the flow value of 1.2, number two, the flow value of 1.6, number three, the ceiling value of minus 7.2, number four, the ceiling value of minus 7.6. So I'll start by looking at uh, the first question, the, the flow value of uh, 1.2. By definition, the flow value is the greatest integer that does not exceed the given value there. So we are looking at the greatest integer that does not exceed 1.2. If you are doing this for the first time, sometimes it is helpful to illustrate this on a number line. So I'll just uh, draw this number line and indicate the integers that are close to 1.2. So I'll write down my a 0 there, a 1, a 2, and a 3. And then go on and write uh, the value that we are given 1.2. So what we are looking for, we are looking for integers that uh, do not exceed 1.2. Integers that do not exceed 1.2 are integers that are to the left of 1.2 there. And those integers are 1, 0, minus 1, and so on, going to the left. But for the flow value, we are looking at the greatest integer that does not exceed 1.2. And that greatest integer that does not exceed 1.2 is a 1. So we have that uh, the flow value of uh, 1.2 is uh, a 1. Now moving on to question number 2, the flow value of uh, 1.6. I'll indicate the 1.6 on the number line there. And uh, we are looking for the flow value. So we are looking for the greatest integer that does not exceed 1.6. Integers that do not exceed 1.6 are integers that are to the left of 1.6 on the number line there. So what we'll be having there is uh, on the greatest one of those integers that do not exceed 1.6, we see that it's 1. I now move on to number 3, and the ceiling value of uh, minus 7.2. By definition, the ceiling value is the smallest integer that is not less than the given value. So in this case, we are looking at the smallest integer that is not less than minus 7.2. And again, I will just try to use the number line for illustration. And uh, I will write down the integers that are closer to minus 7.2. So we have minus 8, we have minus 7, and uh, we have a minus 6 there. And then I'll go on and uh, write down the minus 7.2. So what we are looking at, we are looking at uh, integers that are not less than minus 7.2. Integers that are not less than minus 7.2 are the ones that are on the right there of minus 7.2, which are minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, and so on. But for the ceiling value, we will be looking at the smallest of uh, those integers, the smallest of the minus 7, minus 6, minus 5 the smallest value of those integers is a minus 7. So we have the ceiling value of minus 7.2 is minus 7. Now moving on to number 4 there, the ceiling value of minus 7.6. We are looking at the minimum integer and that is not less than minus 7.6. So I have the minus 7.6 there. And we are saying we want the smallest integer that is not less than minus 7.6. Integers that are not less than minus 7.6 are integers that are to the right of minus 7.6 there. So we have minus 7, minus 6, and so on. And for the ceiling value, we'll be looking at the smallest of those integers. And in this case, that smallest of those integers is a minus 7. So when you're looking at uh, the ceiling values, we are looking at numbers to the right on the number line. And uh, when you're looking at uh, flow values, we are looking at numbers on the left. But there's no need to draw the number line always. In this tutorial, I was just drawing it for illustration only. When you are doing it in practice, you just write down the value without uh, right, drawing the number line. Flow and ceiling values uh, will be used very often in this course because we will look at them when you are looking at number theory, the division algorithm, the Euclidean algorithm, 
and we we'll use uh, the ceiling value when you are looking at uh, the generalized pigeon or principle. So you will need to remember how you can uh, find uh, these values.